Welcome to EMS Office Hours. This is your Monday Minutes. So today I want to talk about uh, what MRSA is, or MRSA. And, you know, this can be particularly important for those of us that work in interfacility transport to deal with a lot of chronic patients and uh, patients that are in institutions or uh, high elderly populations. So let's talk a little bit about MRSA. Okay, so MRSA stands for, let me see if I can get this right here, it stands for Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Now, this is actually a type of a staph infection or Staphylococcus bacterium, and it develops resistance to antibiotics that you might usually see used to treat patients' infections, including things like ampicillin, other penicillins, methicillin, um, and it has a resistance to it. So how can you get MRSA? You can get MRSA from direct or indirect contact. You can also get MRSA from uh, contact with a person who has a wound infection, an infection of the respiratory tract, or who is colonized with the bacteria as well. And what's important to us as providers is that you can also get it from your stethoscope. So be sure to quickly rub the up with some alcohol preps uh, before you use it on the next patient. So what are some of the precautions that paramedics and EMTs can follow with potential MRSA patients? Uh, believe it or not, one of the best ways to help prevent catching or getting MRSA is by hand washing. It's the most important measure you can take. Try to wash them, especially if you're using the bathroom or uh, using household uh, uh, objects. You know, try to wash your hands for at least 15 seconds. And remember, wear gloves if you're handling things like body fluid, urine, wound drainage, things like that. If you're providing care, wear gloves. If you act coming in contact with uh, surfaces that might have been contaminated by bodily fluids, wear gloves as well. Remember, guys, good cleaning with soap and water is your best uh, protection. And you can use a household disinfection. You know, bleach is probably one of the best ways to do it. It's plenty, plenty adequate to disinfect any kind of surfaces in the ambulances or your equipment that might be contaminated with MRSA. And if you do happen to come in contact with it and need to clean your uniforms or your clothing, you can actually just go ahead and do your laundry as you normally would based on your manufacturer's directions using just regular detergent. So I hope we can use these Monday Minutes. If you have some of your own, be sure to send them over to me. My email is jhoff at emsseo.com. Until next week, as always, Jim Hoffman, stay safe.